Hey guys, so I want to share with you guys um, something that I was thinking about, which I don't really think it was really my thoughts. I think it was something that the Lord was revealing to me by his spirit um, to talk about. And it, it literally came to me like the moment I walked into my prayer room and I was just like these, the, the thought that came to my mind was everybody wants the same thing it seems like you know and i was thinking of like you know people that I, I personally know and even like myself included in different types of um careers because like me and my friends we all have different types of you know obviously jobs and i was just thinking i was like man it's it's just it just seems like everybody wants the same thing but I know how, um, you know, earlier this year, I had to be um, careful. And I realized that, you know, sometimes you can put heavy burdens on yourself by trying to get something in your own timing and trying to force things to happen in your own timing, maybe because like you're used to being promoted, you know, faster than I guess you feel is not happening fast enough currently and you know you just feel like you're putting in the work or you're putting in the effort or you're sowing good seeds and you know your expectations are a little higher and when it comes to like the ex your expectation of what time you think it should happen right or even sometimes other people I, I, I realize that sometimes you even have to be careful because other people can put pressure on you because they want you know you to get to where they want you to get also on their timing or like quicker than um really the lord's timing and i just had to really you know understand that this year and um it took some time because um i was just like in my mind you know i want to accomplish these things by this time and i was just kind of you know burdening myself with like this timeline that I had in my mind and I just found myself exhausted like I found myself exhausted you know like emotionally exhausted physically exhausted almost hang on there spiritually so I was just exhausted you know because it's just like I'm putting all this weight on myself it's like I'm trying to lift with these um these uh, weights on this bar and I can't even do a squat I can't even because it's too much weight right so once the Lord revealed to me that some of these because I just felt really like the, the spiritual exhaustion was burdens and once he revealed to me he's like you know you're um you're trying to carry things in your own strength you're trying to carry you know these things on your own time and he he just showed me real to me um that even you know desiring things to happen on your time could be a burden and i didn't know that because i thought burdens were like you know kind of like things that were outside of your control you know like um maybe if you need a deliverance from something you know that can be a burden i know i've heard people talk about how they struggle with being addicted to things you know that can be a burden um, so like my perspective on burdens was a little different, you know, once he brought it to my attention that you can put burdens on yourself or you got to be careful and not let other people put burdens on you because, you know, you may not be, um, you may not be, sorry, I was listening to my washer. You may not be, um, I guess like accomplishing things even on their time and it's just like you just have to be really careful about that because if you're not careful I do think it could raise stress levels and you know um it's not good it's not healthy to be stressed out if you can if you can I guess be mindful or um just you know pay attention to what it what is it specifically that might be stressing you out that you might need to you know make time to do more things for self-care make time 
to make sure you're good, make time to make sure you're getting rest and, you know, you have peace and you have your time away from everybody else and everything in the world. Everyone knows it's demands, you know, whether that's work or your family, your kids, you got to make sure you set time aside just for you because, um, you know, you can experience burnout, you know, um, if you're struggling with health issues and like high blood pressure, you know, you don't, you can't afford to be getting stressed out. Mm -mm. That's not good for you. So, um, you know, just, you know, taking the time to go get teas to help de-stress, you know, there's a really good tea, um, that's made for stress and it actually works. It calms you down. I can't remember the brand I have, but just making sure you, you know, you make time to make sure that you're okay you know, get you some bubble bath and Epsom salt and soak your body after working long hours outside the heat, you know, um, making sure you stay hydrated with water or Gatorade, just different things, you know. So, um, yeah, once you realize that you can put those easily, you can easily put burdens on yourself and trying to carry everything on your own. You know, you're supposed to cast all your heavy burdens onto God because he cares for you. That's a scripture. He said, cast all of your heavy burdens onto me because I care for you. His word also says, come to me, those who are weary and heavy burden, and I will give you rest. I believe that's what it says. Cause I remember, I remember one day I went to church and I just remember immediately just receiving rest because I was exhausted. And I said, wow, like, I don't know why I never really, I don't know, like, because at first I'm thinking, you know, I think God says, come, I'm taking that scripture into consideration, like, God means get into my presence and I'll give you rest, right? But I never really realized that if you just go to church, I literally felt like I, I, I went to church and I was so tired, I could barely even concentrate on the word. But because I was just simply in church, I was being blessed with rest. Like, I immediately, like, as soon as I sat down, it was like the Lord just blessed me with rest. And I was like, wow, thank you, God. It wasn't like he was, you know, getting on to me about not paying attention to the word that was being preached. None of that. He was just blessing me with rest because I was in his presence, because I was in his home, because I was in his church. And he was giving me that because he knew that I needed it. So, um... Yeah, so I'm I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, you know, remember I walk in my prayer room, I just start thinking everybody wants the same thing and everybody seems like they're just chasing the same thing, the same dream, the same um, job position, the same, um, I guess, idea, like if they want to be an entrepreneur or if they want to be a, a professional ball player, if they want to be, you know, whatever it is, I was, I was thinking of specific people who all have like the same desires. And I, I even, you know, was thinking of how myself of like, you know, how I was feeling and thinking earlier this year, how I just had to let it go because it was becoming a burden and it was becoming a stressor. And I just chose not to even, you know, stress myself out about that anymore. I decided to completely just let it go. And I had to, you know, learn to trust God. And a scripture that really helped me was Ecclesiastes. There's a time for everything under the sun. A time for this, a time for that, a time for this, a time for that. And um, that just really, you know, put me at ease and gave me peace and gave me rest because it just really reminded me to just trust God's perfect timing and to understand that everything happens, you know, in his will and on his time. And, you know, I even kind of started to just be thankful for what I did currently have and stop stressing and worrying about what I didn't have because I've talked to people who desire to, to have what I have, you know, and me right now my after you know kind of getting that wisdom um and the lord just kind of sitting me down and just helped me through it um helped me be patient help me trust him and trust his timing um because he sees my he sees my labor he sees my you know my work i don't think my work is in vain i don't think my labor is in vain um but just you know he just had to make sure i just really understood that his timing is perfect and it's like once i got to that point once I got to that point, it was just like, I was just so grateful for the season I was in. So whatever it is that I had, 
whatever it is, you know, th that I currently am, I'm just so grateful for it, you know. And just knowing and believing and trusting that God's promise is going to come to pass on his timing. And I'm okay with that. I'm content with that. I'm fine with where he has me, you know, right now. And it's even kind of gotten to the point where it's just like, you know, kind of him opening my eyes to just kind of see even him reminding me of stories in the Bible, you know, like um, to whom much is given, much is required. So it's just like you really got to be ready to receive the things that you are praying for, um, because when they come, you know, it's something that comes with it. You know, you, 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 you be praying for things because you're thinking of like the pros, but you know, you don't really... I, you have no idea what the cons are that come with it or the responsibility, um, the prerequisites, you know, the requirements. So I'm okay. You know, like I'm good. I'm, I'm, I, I just want my rest. I just want my peace right now because I just, you know, all year, I just kind of felt like I was just running this race nonstop. And that's what made it so hard. And it's like, right now, I'm good. I don't want nothing else to add on my plate right now. I'm just, thank you, God, for what you have given me. And I'm just going to, you know, when it's time, I'm just going to have to keep forward and step into it. I'm going to have to move forward, you know, and keep going, moving forward and walking into the blessing he has for me, walking into the door he's already opened for me. His word says that um, no man can shut open the door that God has opened for you. And... um while I was thinking of these people, particularly including myself, of how I used to feel and think of how I used to want, you know, these things. And I literally, I literally said, all right, y'all go ahead. I'll see y'all there. And when I said that, literally, my it was like the Lord showed me my heart. And he showed me how, like, I really, truly desire. I just desire Jesus. Like, and that's where I am right now. I, um... I just really desire Jesus. Like I just really desire God more than anything right now. And I, and I think the Lord just wants us to understand that if you would just desire him and if you would just, you know, chase after him and if you would just continue to seek him, he will give you the desires of your heart. And I believe that the desires of your heart are there for a purpose. I believe that God spoke promises over us and that we desire things for a reason um, if it is good, if it brings glory to God, I think that he places those desires in our heart because his word that says that he will give us the desires of our heart. So, um, you know, just be mindful and careful of what you pray for because, you know, when you get it, you know, are you ready? Because I know I used to pray for things. I remember I got exactly what I prayed for. And it just really taught me, you know, to pray better, you know, and, um, it kind of shows you your heart when you pray for things and you get it and then you grow up and you're just like, why did I pray for that? You know, like what was, why was that important to me in that time? You know, um, the, it, it, it kind of shows you what you think of yourself and, you know, how much you love yourself because, or maybe like how much you, how much do you know God? How much do you know about God or how much time do you spend to get to know more about God? Like, you know, your relationship, and your perspective on who you think he is, you know, just, I mean, just thinking back to when I was younger, like, you know, seven years ago, six years ago, um, even 10 years ago, but yeah, so it's just like now I'm just like, I just really, just really, just really want to be in God's presence. Like, I just want to be with Jesus. And I was immediately reminded of the scripture and the story of when the disciples um, left Jesus behind. Jesus said he was going to pray and he went to go find a private uh, a private place to pray. And he, he sent the disciples ahead of him and pretty much told them to go ahead to meet him there. And I remember the disciples started freaking out and panicking because while they're in the boat, the, a storm came and, you know, the seas um, started getting really bad and they were panicking. And then they started, they saw like this light off in the distance. They were scared that God was a ghost. But then the closer the light got to them, they realized that it was Jesus walking on water. And y'all, the revelation that God gave to me was when you move and walk with Jesus, when you like 
are waking up not anxious for nothing but just entering into his 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 courts with praise i'm sorry walking into his gates with thanksgiving and entering his courts with praise like when you really have your eyes on jesus it's it's literally like god will miraculously cut back the time to get to wherever it is that you're trying to get to so me in my own personal shoes just knowing how fast god has moved in such a short amount of time like i literally was catching the bus and walking just three years ago i think just three years ago and i have a a four bedroom three full bath house in my name i've gotten two cars since then in my name by myself with god's grace I've, I was able to save $10,000 in like, I think maybe less than six months, um, just saving every penny. And it's just incredible what God can do in such a short amount of time. Literally, guys, I was just walking, catching the bus, walking in the heat, standing, waiting for the bus for an hour, missing the bus, having to wait another 45 minutes to an hour, like literally just doing this three years ago. And now I have a house in my name and there's people who are still graduating or still in school that I met 10 years ago. They're still in school, still in school for medical school. And it's just like God has given me like, uh oh, sorry, y'all. That was my washroom. But just seeing how God has blessed me so much financially in such a short amount of time and just no just watching like y'all understand there's people out there studying their butts off for 10 years straight trying to make the income that god has blessed me with in just two years like y'all have no idea how much and i'm not saying this the, i promise y'all if y'all just hear what god is doing in my life i'm a very private person i do not say or tell people you know about my personal business especially finances because that's not anybody's business I, all i do is just move and let others see what god has done for me and i'm really grateful that god allowed for people to see me catch the bus and see me walking around because i know that he's also allowing to them to see how he's blessed me and um i just really want you to just be encouraged in that you know like um you know, I've had hard times where I had to even rebuild my credit and it just felt like, you know, sometimes it feels like you're in a, a pit and you're like, man, I used to have great credit. And then, you know, you're not able to pay off bills, you know, bad things happen to good people and then you got to rebuild your credit. So it's just like just knowing how faithful God is and just being able to testify like I just really wanted to testify tonight about that. And um I just thought that that story, like when he revealed that to me, that that was just a beautiful story because I personally know for a fact and I, I'm witnessing, I'm literally witnessing people still be in school and I'm just like, God has really blessed me. God has really blessed me. I, I had no idea that this was even possible. But his word says that he will do exceedingly and beyond above all that you can ever imagine. I remember when I first started, first started selling my product. Um, I remember hearing someone say that so and so was doing really. They did really well there. Um, while they were working there, and they made like seventy something thousand dollars. You know, um a year and just hearing you know other people how much they made a year and i'm thinking wow that's great money and then just watching god literally give me more than that and like it seems like a blink of an eye so it's just kind of like you know something else is like don't beat yourself up when you're not doing or accomplishing what you want to accomplish again in your time or if you're not accomplishing what other people want you to accomplish on their time like right now give yourself a pat on the back for the things that you have accomplished 
and give yourself some grace for the things that you have accomplished. And more importantly, give God all the praise. Give him all the thanks. Thank him and be grateful for where you are. Like you just got to get in a season like a, you have to get in the presence of God. And you just got to be so grateful and thankful for what he has given you and for where you are. And you got to stop being frustrated because things aren't happening on your time the way you want to. And you got to stop getting frustrated because, you know, you lack the understanding. God's verses lean not on your own understanding, but lean on him. And he will direct your path and make your way straight. Unless those may be two different scriptures um, saying together, but um, don't lean on your own understanding, but lean completely on God and just rest in him. I hope that helps somebody. I really hope that helps somebody. Because even like the revelation, the part about Jesus walking on water, like that's what walking by faith is when you just trust God. And he will help you literally walk on water. He will literally help you not drown. If you just keep your eyes on him. If you just trust him and keep your eyes on him. The word says it is impossible to please God without faith. Faith is so important. Jesus said that if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, y'all, a mustard seed is so tiny. He said if you can have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can command this mountain to move from here to there. You, He said you can command mountains to move. So when I first heard that scripture, I was already, I was just like, Mountains don't move because I'm thinking in the natural realm. But if you pay attention, the Lord is always speaking in parables because he's trying to talk to us like a parent talks to a child on terms in which they can understand. So he talks to us in these stories, and these parables, because he wants us to understand the spiritual side of things because the spiritual world is real. God is spirit. So he needs for you to understand spiritual warfare and how to fight in the spirit and use scriptures and use his word, right? Because at the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. So he's he's trying to explain to you that if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, come on now, like think of size. We're comparing sizes now. If you would have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can command a giant mountain to move out of your way so a mustard seed is tiny a mountain is large he said that's how powerful faith is if you had faith just the size of a mustard seed a giant obstacle a giant mountain a giant demon in the spiritual realm has to move if you will only have faith amen Amen. And that is a word. I love you guys. I hope that you guys say encouraged. Um, I'm sorry. I don't have, you know, makeup on. My hair's not done. Nails look like whatever. But I just wanted to um, make a video about that revelation because I didn't really know how to put it into a short summary um, on social media and words um, the way I thought that. Um, I just thought it would be better if I made a video. So I pray that you guys stay prayerful and hopeful and that you keep your faith and you keep moving forward and letting the Lord lead you to your blessing. Amen. I love you guys. Have a wonderful week. Okay. I'll see y'all next time.